Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to this iteration of my bedroom on a day that you thought would never happen. I think some of you out there thought that I had forgotten, but I hadn't. Oh no, I was just in moving hell for a month and a half, but we're here. Finally, <laughs> the season one finale of Black Sails. <laughs> I don't know, you're thinking, how could you have stopped watching? The boats are finally setting sail to the, to the Majorca. We have Vane that like cooed, cooed? I don't know, totally took over a whole island of slaves. I mean, it's crazy pants. It's going down, but I'm here and I'm so excited that you're here with me as well. So we are going to get to it. Um, no cozy, comfy blanket, although I found it, it had been lost for a little bit, but it's, um, so it's cooled down. It's only 80 degrees in my room right now. So you might hear a hum in the background that is the fan fans have to be on or else I will be a puddle in my chair. What else do we have? You're going to remember full episode watch along is available on Patreon where I would love to see you. I have my water and my citrus beverage is good old fashioned. It's going to say Irish mule, but I used famous grouse scotch whiskey. So it's Scottish mule, but I'm here. You're here and let's get to it. We're back in action. Come on. Ça va. Ça va bien et toi? Well, it looks like who's he was. Oh my gosh, I can't remember his name. I want to say Hardwick, but Rackham. Mr. Rackham seems to be doing well with this brothel. I just saw the person. He says I am no longer to receive my distribution of the house's profits. Yes, I did some rough calculations to figure the amount you've been you owe us. from the take since we first began this arrangement. It only seems fair to garnish your proceeds to account for it. Mm -hmm. I will have my cut, or everyone in this street will know what became of Mr. Noonan. Okay, I was going to say, does that mean something? Don't you dare doubt it. And would that mean something? Or leaves me with no choice but to terminate your employment here. And by terminate means permanently i think they will band together to see you hang which one's exactly yeah exactly mr connors the we right <laughs> or perhaps mr peterson the butcher maybe mr rush the lapidary lapidary what is a lapidary discounts they got a punch card you forgot the only name that matters here the lady across the street, she finds out about this. Oh, Madam Guthrie knows. I think Madam Guthrie is occupied with other things right now. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be crazy pants if their ships crashed day three into the journey? Like, da -da, that was it, boys. That was the adventure. Toodaloo. <laughs> That was the one thing about the show, and I don't know if I remember mentioning it or not, or just thinking it, which is I forget all these fellas are actors. This is a set. They're not sailors. These aren't great, big, huge ass ships. What they put them through with the, what are they called? The dollies? The hoozy what's What are they called? My brain's stuck on that. Like the roping and the water and the wind and the whatnots. And they act on top of doing the actual physical work is amazing. The production value on the show is fabulous. You're still trying to find something comfortable to put at the end of my stuff. Oh yeah, I forgot. He's gonna lose a leg eventually. Bolt from the Ranger. Captain Gates is coming over. Now? Now? Yo, oh, you just invited yourself to this meeting here. <laughs> okay, John. Last part of the schedule, if you don't mind. The last part. The last part. The course you write down leads to one of them. Odds are that your information is accurate. And if it doesn't? Overboard! You're gonna meet the same end as Billy, who may or may stop not still be alive. My brain just went... Zip, 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 zip. Do they find it and then 
John puts it on an island and that becomes Treasure Island? Is that what's gonna happen? Talbot Roads. Private stock. I've been waiting for an occasion. My reckoning is tomorrow we'll either be able to afford a lot more of it or we'll be too dead to care. And Captain Hoosie, what's it? <laughs> this has been a while. I forget most of people's names. Doesn't know that 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 Gates plans to with half the other crew. A new course. The captain accepted the last segment of the Urkarut is valid. But one thing you should not doubt: certainty is not a word I throw around lightly. What's this? A false thing? Information. I am quite certain I have it right. Wait. What? Are there more triple dealings happening? Was that not the right? That man has a strange way of handling the prospect of imminent wealth beyond reason. It's gonna come at a cost, that's why. Gosh, meanwhile, back on the island. Harrison? Harvey? I don't know who the fuck you're talking about. The man that nicked that. Everything on that. Greg, that's him. Deck is so. The desk is so wet. So wet. Had a nose for sniffing out booze and a price you like a fucking blood out. <laughs> you found this bottle of booze. Now he's convinced that the prize captain's been hiding his best liquor. So he pops the cork and takes this big swig. Is it vinegar? And it was piss. It was piss. Oh, just as good. Piss and vinegar. There we go. He was my first bunkmate. Did Flynn have him killed too? And look at that. I remembered his name. I spent two weeks that winter in New York trying to deliver that letter to his sister. Never found her. There are no legacies in this life. No monuments, no history. Unless you're Flynn trying to build an island nation where he is the Lord and Savior. Well, that looked to have been a doozy of a storm. How the f can you cut papers to loose without even telling me? I'm sorry, I wasn't aware you were her attorney in this matter. It's worse, you keep counsel with a whore about it. Wait, what? Oh. That's what this is about, Max. Fucked her, didn't you? Oh. I can't win with you. Oh. And now she's out making us a small fortune, by the way. And you're pissed off about that too. Why don't you consider making up your mind about it, please? Fuck, Fuck you, you, Jack. Jack. Yes. Yeah. Fuck me. No, oh, Charles is back on shore. Oh no. When we cross the point ahead and spot the Urka at anchor, we'll begin our final run at her. The Spanish banner may earn us a few hundred yards of confusion. I can't believe we're at the ship already, considering how long it took us to set sail. And we are almost immediately at the Urca. But on the other side lies paradise. Is it going to be a ship there? And why would it still be there? What made him think they would catch up on time? That was the whole thing about the schedule is how old was the schedule? Captain, this is the location you requested. <gasps> or not. And this is an opportunity to have the crew go, what the hell? And beat, 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 stabby, stabby, stabby. And then they go on to the right location without Flynn. You said you'd rebuild things here without your father. And damned if you didn't do just that. Still one step yet to accomplish. Where did Pops go? Removing my father entirely. Yes, where is he? I know he's out on the Underhill estate. Thank you, thank you. I can't believe you left me for that old lady. But Captain Hornigold is right. <laughs> oh. Where did that come from? <laughs> my men aren't the ones doing the firing. Oh, it's Vane's guys. We need to get to the Beach now. Would they suspect at all that it is vain? <laughs> Captain. <laughs> Provided we find a suitable place to land the walrus, you'll have two days to send out scouts and hopefully locate the Urka. It's Mr. De Groot. Once we make landfall, he wants Flint tried immediately. He says there's no Urka out here and that justice has been delayed long enough. Well, that's not gonna happen. So let's discuss reality. He said that you'd say that. Which means? 
Before you know it, half a dozen men will have laid claim to the captain's seat. Camps will divide. It won't be dark yet before the fighting starts. We've got to see Flint pay for his crimes. But we'll do it at home. And we'll do it like civilized men. And the pirates that we are. How can we take you at your word? You don't have to take my word. Good enough for you. Is this a letter I'm supposed to remember, or is this a new letter? Sails! To the south! Did they seriously beat the Urca there? Captain, is it the Urca? It's a... Uh, no. She's oh, no. I think it's a couple of... A couple of ships. Let's get orders to the Ranger. Tell her to raise the black and fire two shots over our bow. Captain, join me. I don't have time. Make time. Oh, well, this ticking clock in the background is maddening. As far as that man on war knows, we're a Spanish merchantman under attack by pirate raiders. We order the Ranger to flee. The Spaniard passes us to give chase, and before she realizes her error, we got her trapped. She's got a hundred guns. With a little luck, we'll hammer her into submission before she can bring her broadsides to bear. Exactly. The Urk! She's here. Can't you see that? Oh, I can see. It's an empty bay. Unless the man of the the man of warship is there to, by this place at this time? to protect the Urk. It's the only explanation. I'm taking the Ranger and I'm leaving. What did you just say? Without the Ranger, I have no chance against that ship. I know. So you're deliberately challenging my authority here? Deliberately violating your duty? My duty? Oh no. Oh no, loose lips, she ships literally oh, gates no, in this have. situation. I more times than I can remember in your defense. Mr. Gates, if you walk through that door with the intent of subverting my plans, I will have no alternative but to interpret that as an incitement of mutiny. You think I'm inciting a mutiny? No, 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 no. out there right now, the Novak Singleton, the book, the cop, all of it, they know. And they mean to see you hang for it. You don't. Mm -mm. Mr. Billy, I just oh. want to believe you. So what then? Yep. You preside over a trial that sees me hanged? Nope. No. The Groot's out there doing it. I will see you and Mrs. Barlow secreted away before anybody knows you're gone. That was his plan. He had a secret plan D. And that is the last that you and I will ever see of each other. Please. Well, Gates, I think that Dex the last you're going to see of each other right there, right now. I'm sorry. Take him home. You... How much time, Mr. Gates, have you spent with Captain Flynn? And what makes you think he's going to behave in any sort of rational matter? This is not what I want. What I want. So what are you gonna do with his body then, Flynn? What are you gonna do with his body? Cheese and rice. Again, when Flynn oh jeez, it would be John. <laughs> So now what are you going to do with Gates' body and he doesn't emerge and then what? You got the whole ranger crew out there? There's no way out of this. Mm -mm. Take it from me. There's always a way. God, John, what's your plan? Is there meat in the stew tonight? <gasps> are these... These requests are. A small band of men was seen approaching the fort from I thought the west that was going to be like. Vain with his demands. I have lieutenants calling in favors from the crews of the Colonial Dawn and the Medusa. Wait, and none of the ships that were in the bay took off to safety? I'll be 
back in my chair. And whoever did this will be hanging by his goddamn... What is it? Quick. Y'all need to see this. Miss Guthrie, I think it's time we talked. Mr. Gates, his heart has given out. <laughs> He's dead. Oh, seriously? Mr. Logan? That's... Signal Mr. Thompson on the Ranger. Inform him he's now in command. Dad. Voice the signals from the foremast below the yard. Get him up and down quickly before... That's what they're saying. And for a close friend, you look really, really distraught about this, Captain Flynn. The question you need to ask yourself <gasps> is what good can I do? You can call this murder. Oh, John, this is the... Will that be enough to stop this fight that is about to happen? So, Mr. Quartermaster, Ooh. is that truly what's in their best interest? Wow, this is this was the plan, John. I don't think Mr. DeGroote is long for the world. <laughs> DeGroote didn't go, what were you doing in the room, John? When the warship draws close, she'll ask our last port of call. St. Augustine's the closest. And as she's likely a custom ship, we must identify our cargo as anything but tobacco. Seville regulates the trade heavily. Yep. The group, you are, you, you, you got a target on your back now. How long do you think that's going to take? Can you take back that fort before I sink another ship in the bay? Why are the ships still in the bay is my question. We may just decide to sink the walrus when she returns with your precious Spanish gold. Just out of spite. You're annoyed at me, so you're going to destroy everything I've built. I said I wanted to destroy anything. Then what do you want? All of it. Want to go and control the fort. That meant he was your partner. Now, I control the fort. That looks like a Coke glass. <laughs> I think you're just tired of fathers telling you what to do. I'm offering you a life free from them. I think she's kind of doing that already. You know I have no choice but to say yes. But before I do, know this. You'll sit in that fort for a while. You'll get comfortable. And that's the day I'm going to push you and your men right into the fucking sea. Ben. Ben, he says. He wants your seat on consortium. Well, I have 300 men out there more than happy to deny. I told him about the tunnels. <gasps> Why? You told me to keep emotion from clouding judgment. Act in everyone's best interest. I believe that's what I'm doing. I hope you had more of a plan than that, Eleanor. Although I know she was surprised and thinking on the fly. However. Yeah, congratulations are in order. Some ways, Jack. It had to come to this. Look at that silhouette. Look at that silhouette. Captain, I don't know what you've heard. Herman pulls you out of bed, marches you down to oh. the Oh. Oh. So the street will know what you did. Mm-hmm. And you'll never sail beneath the black again. Loyalty, Jack. Supposed to mean something. Supposed to me anyway. Jack was pretty loyal to him. For the most part, that I can remember. Casadore! Marco Fernandez, Capitan! Run that way! St. Augustine! St. Augustine, tobacco trade. <gasps> it was supposed to not be tobacco, right? I did. He means to prove that that ship is not Garda Costa, that it's here for the same reason we are. The Arca. If that ship lets us pass, you will have managed to both renew the men's lust for gold and their faith in his judgment. Adios. All heads to their stations. 300 yards, we open fire. Time and again, he gambles with our lives. Mm -hmm. That is, when he's not taking them in cold blood. We're at his mercy with no way to challenge him. I don't think he had a way to challenge him prior. It only looks that way. It's called biding your time. Range? 100 yards, Captain. 
That's amazing. Because I'm sure at some point someone was able to tell distance just by sight. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna hit the ranger on accident? Almost there. Captain Flint. You're gonna do this now? I hereby accuse you of tyrannical crimes against your crew. All crews, fire! Relay that order! He's gonna do this now? And you're gonna let the range... Your duties as a member of this crew have reached an oh, end. Ranger, the ranger, you're gonna let go under. What exactly do you hope to accomplish by doing this? Yeah. In your case, Mr. Silver, justice. It's his word against Flint's. Why would anyone believe him? I hold in my hand a letter written by Mr. Gates confessing his knowledge and complicity in the captain's myriad crimes. We're gonna lose them! I gave you all an order! Fire! This is the time you decide to do this. Mr. Logan. You fire It's in him. Mr. Gates' hand. Where are you going? <clears throat> He's gonna light a fire and cause him to fire the ship fire. Boom! He's got to start the sound, and then they got to fight for their lives. And then what? This time there's no escaping it. Oh. Ooh, what's his name? You're welcome. Raise the sails! We're going home! And then what? Oh, is that a range? It's out of range by far. Sorry, had to be done. Now you're all dead. There's no running now. Mm-hmm. The Spaniards have got men in the rigging! Fire, Mr. Dufresne. Well, you're out of range now. The ranger is gonna sink. The ship, the loose lips have sunk ships. Um, but you're still exposed. Because the ranger has got no clue what's going on on the other ship. <gasps> it's coming about. She's coming about! <gasps> This is the end of the dream. This is total annihilation. You still gotta raise anchor. What are you gonna s This ship is destroyed. Doctor, they are all toast there, John. Oh, this dream has died. This dream has died. For now, possibly. But, mmm. We've got two ships that are... <gasps> well, if I didn't know there were three more seasons, I would have said this is a hell of a series finale. Yesterday I was a whore of little consequence. Today I am a madame with an income, an allies. And a woman who has learned the most important of lessons. Never let anyone stand in between you and your ambitions. Oh, you taught her that, Eleanor. Thank you for teaching it to me. <laughs> Today you have everything you have ever wanted. Well, Max is bitter. I suppose we can only guess what tomorrow will bring. More bitterness. And news of sunk ships. Ooh, wait. Did he throw that bandage on himself? No, he did not. I think it'll be a while before she sails again. In the meantime, you and I have been charged with provoking this whole mess. <laughs> Who else survived? <gasps> Why am I still alive? I thought that was Billy. It looked like Billy. It looked like Billy for half a second. Wait, 
Please tell me they're going to crest the hill and they're going to see the Urca on the other side of the island. I told you I was certain about my information regarding the Urca. Fortunately, you and I failed to take into account the weather. The Urca de Lima wrecked at sea last night, dashed by the storm. Which ship is that one? Their new ship, I'm gonna guess, but... Treasure Island it is! <laughs> I have a thought. I have a thought! So let me see if I understand this correctly. The Urca, the night before, was dashed upon the rocks. Ship unable to be maneuvered. Crew and goods broken upon the shore. So if these chuckleheads had just kept their shit together, they could have come around the bend and have just taken the crew like that because there was no cannon fire really to contend with. And if so, it Cannon fire is limited of its aiming. Cruise on. Is that what could have happened? Is that what could have happened? Is that what could have happened? And that's probably why that Spanish man of worship was there. Because it had gotten word somehow or... The Urca did have some sort of a bodyguardist present to make sure it was where it was supposed to be. It was just a day or two behind. To offer assistance. Is that what? Okay, so that was that. What happened? If not, not, <laughs> not Jesus Mary. Oh, so there are a crew of seven, eight now that they found washed upon the shore. Once the the Urk itself is broken, they've got that other ship out in the in the bay. I'm, I think is what I saw. They somehow managed to take it over, take over those men and get the gold on that ship and off and away they go happily ever after-ish, maybe? <laughs> so many people died. I didn't mean to be so loud there, but so many people died. So many people died. And it didn't take vain much effort to just come on shore and, and kind of take over most of the island. And Eleanor, okay, so here's the, my thing about Eleanor. Why? How? I guess how? How is she able to stay in charge? I think I might have asked this before and I don't know if I, I don't either remember the answer or I didn't really get a clear answer. She doesn't really have a physical presence she has a few men who are loyal to her i think before she was able to use her father's name and connections to keep business running but she herself doesn't have anything so how is she able to be in that position of power and i question this because i don't know how she's going to keep it just like with Max. Max has got a tiny position of power now. How long will she be able to keep it? Although she's running a, a, a whorehouse, so would any of the other men there on the island cares how much power she has if she's just running a whorehouse? But Eleanor is running the organization. How is she going to be able to keep it? Keep that position? And if the chuckleheads just get their shit together... So we have three more seasons. How, where, how? And John still got to lose his leg at some point in time. Okay, right. Okay, so how did you all feel about this season finale? Did it go like you wanted to? What were you wishing you had? I don't know where we're going to go next, but I'm excited to find out. And I do want you there with me when we head on that adventure. Okay, so in the meantime, which will not be another two months, it'll be sooner than another two months. I want you to stretch your bodies, uh, stay hydrated, wear your sunscreen, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time. <laughs>